Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Can You Game On It? I'm Kelvin, and this week we're going to be looking at the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm sure we have that very relatable moment where we try our first mechanical keyboard. You know, after using scissor or you know membrane keyboards and suddenly using a mechanical keyboard, I'm sure we all realize that it's way better to type on than the regular keyboard. So instead of having to buy a gaming keyboard just to have the same typing experience, Logitech finally has a mechanical keyboard for their MX productivity line. So this is the Logitech MX mechanical keyboard. So to start off with build quality, once you pick that up, you'll kind of realize that it's pretty solidly built. The main chassis itself is made from plastic and the top panel itself is made from solid aluminum. So there's no flex to it. Like if you like trying your keyboards like that, you know, there's no flex to it. It feels very solid. So in terms of color, there's only one option, which is this graphite gray color. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's different shades of gray. Yeah, this is the only option you have. The only thing I think this line could benefit from is definitely maybe a few more color options because their previous MX keyboard, the non-mechanical the non ones, had pink and white. So I was thinking like, you know, this would have had other color options, but apparently not. So, you know, Logitech maybe get on that. Like as much as I like the graphite gray, you know, maybe you can use a little other colors for other people as well. Also, this keyboard is backlit. It's individually backlit. So each key has its own backlight. You can clearly see the keys when you're typing. And what's interesting about the light is that there is a built-in proximity sensor. I, I, that's probably the best way to describe it, is when you know your hands are away from the keyboard, it goes into like idle, so the lights turn off. And once your hands are close to it, like about maybe this distance, then it will light up again, which is, <laughs> I feel like, a pretty like good quality of life and also battery power consumption feature to kind of just have so before we get into the typing experience, this keyboard comes with three separate switch options, which is the tactile, the clicky, and also the linear, which is what we have right here. Linear keys are actually very comfortable to type on. In terms of actuation force, it probably goes around 45 grams. And in terms of total travel, it's only like 3.2 millimeters. Very comfortable typing experience, to be honest. So the combination of the low actuation force and also the short travel distance makes it just a breeze to use. And in terms of sound, like auditory, the auditory experience, this scale low profile reds give, still give like a satisfying talk without being too obnoxiously loud. Obviously, you wouldn't bring your clicky keyboards to a, you know, office environment. Everyone else will be hearing it too. But this thing has a very, still a very satisfying sound but not, not being too loud and disturbing your coworkers. So as per title of the show, you know, can you game on it? This keyboard, again, built for productivity. I would say, you know, it'll, it'll stick to casual games because it still has a 14 to 16 millisecond latency, depending if you're using the dongle or Bluetooth. But you know, when you're playing fast paced or even competitive shooters, for example, you know, every millisecond counts. So I wouldn't say, this would replace like a dedicated gaming keyboard. If you're doing a lot of work and you're a casual gamer, you can still go for it, to be honest. It's like, it's not, it's not a bad option. Again, very comfortable to use. So this keyboard comes with a 1500 milliamp hour battery. You know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but on a full charge, it can last you up to 15 days. And that's with the lights constantly on, not lifting your hands away from this keyboard, it lasts 15 days. And like I said, it has built-in power conservation features. And in my two weeks of using it, from full charge, it went down to 75%. And this is like including, you know, using it while I work. I, I even took it back home and use it for gaming. So it's consistent usage for the past two weeks. And it still went down to like 75. But if you really want to stretch it with the backlights off, it's advertised to go up to 10 months on a full charge. So <laughs> you could do that. It can last you 10 months on a full charge. And yeah, I mean, if you really don't need the lights, why not? It's 10 months on a, on a single full charge. When you eventually need to charge, it comes with a USB-C port and a in-the-box USB-A to USB-C cable. All right, on to connectivity. So the MX line is 
meant for a wireless workflow. So the keyboard will be connected through the Logi Bolt dongle. So this dongle basically allows you to just go plug and play. Plug into your PC, you don't have to set up anything at all. It's as simple as that. But if you want to access more customizable features, then you would have to go through the Logitech Options Plus app, which opens up a lot more features like customization on the keys, like the macro keys if you want to change it, or even the lighting options. Right, speaking of connectivity, this keyboard can connect up to three devices. So you'll see on the top here, it's basically buttons for you to just switch on the fly at the press of a button. This is Logitech's flow feature. You know, it's great if you have if you have a multi-device setup. Once you set up on the Bluetooth for each of the devices, you just click corresponding numbers and you're just switched on the fly. And in terms of compatibility, this literally connects to everything. Mac, PC, Android, iOS, Linux, even like all the platforms are compatible. So you don't have to worry about, you know, compatibility in this case, because it literally goes for all platforms. Again, even mobile. So if you want to type on your phone with this keyboard, you can do that. All in all, the MX Mechanical Keyboard basically just proves that mechanical keyboards aren't just for gaming. It can be great for productivity as well, especially when it's this well made. Again, it doesn't replace dedicated gaming keyboards, but you know, as a person who is working more than I am gaming at this point, <sighs> Again, especially if you have a multi-device workflow, this is great. And basically just bring the mechanical keyboard experience to your office. So that's it for the MX Mechanical Keyboard. Please follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and you know, visit our website, sca.ign.com for more gaming news. I've been Kelvin, and I'll see you guys next time.